What's up guys and welcome to the Olsen Angle. Today we're going to be talking about Oklahoma Sooners commit Jalen Conyers. Jalen is 6'4", 220 pounds, and projects to play tight end at the college level. And when you watch his highlights, you're going to notice that he plays just about every single position on the field. He takes reps at safety, corner, outside linebacker, quarterback, as well as wide receiver. When I stumbled upon his highlights, I was really shocked with how dominant he looked on the field. And I was also kind of shocked amongst the disparity between the national recruiting sites. 24-7 Sports has Jalen rated the number 46th overall prospect in the recruiting class of 2020, but ESPN doesn't even have him ranked in their top 300. And I was really taken back because he looks extremely talented in his highlights, so I had to figure out why ESPN doesn't even have him ranked in their top 300. And I think I found out the reason and why. Jalen unfortunately gets negatively impacted because he plays 2A Texas football and he's not playing that better competition at the 6A level. And I hate it when recruiting sites almost completely dismiss smaller town heroes just because they play against lesser competition. This is where I believe our channel does a great job of cutting through all the crap and analyzing what the player actually does well and what translates. And just because he plays against lesser competition doesn't mean he should be slept on by national recruiting sites. When you have the ability, you have the ability. It doesn't matter whether you're playing single A football or 6A Texas football. Just off the top of my head, Todd Gurley came from a small 1A school in Mount Tarboro, North Carolina. It doesn't matter how small the school is that you attend. If you can play, you can play. When you watch the highlights, you're going to notice that Jalen is extremely smooth and fluid in all of his motions. And there are some athletes and recruits that look like they have to try 110% to accomplish the same exact tasks that Jalen's able to accomplish. But Jalen makes it look so smooth and easy because it all comes natural to him. And he has extremely good hands and can make acrobatic catches. And when he does have the ball, he's an extremely powerful runner. You're going to see him assert his dominance and will out there on the field. And when you pair that up with good speed and a six foot four frame, you're looking at a tight end who's really going to be an aerial threat for Oklahoma for years to come. One thing we don't get to see Jalen do that often in his highlights is run block. And it makes sense, right? Because he's playing quarterback and wide receiver, he's not going to be run blocking all that often. So I definitely expect Jalen to have a little bit of an adjustment time period as he learns to become a proficient run blocker. And that's just because he doesn't run block all that often. And there are so many different nuances you have to pick up on to be an effective run blocker. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and dive into the highlights. He just did that, guys. Oh my gosh. He hurdles the defender and is able to make a spectacular one-handed catch. I've got to watch that again, guys. That is unbelievable. And he gets both feet down and bounds. That is a great play by him. Absolutely outstanding. High points the football, tips it down with one hand to himself, makes the interception, and he takes that back to the house. That's six points. That's another great play by him. Okay, a little quarterback highlight here. Hurdles the defender, Le'Veon Bell-esque, and makes three would-be tacklers miss. Another absolutely unreal highlight. Wow, makes one guy miss, and extends the play, and passes for the touchdown. I will say that defense didn't look great though, but again, he's doing what he's expected to do against those lesser teams. Right there, he collapses the edge and makes that tackle over there on that outside run. Great job, great highlight. Oh my gosh, get off me, boy. Get off, get off me twice, and then he runs for the top. I'm sorry, we've gotta go ahead and watch that one again. Look at these stiff arms. One, get off me, child. Two, get off me, child. That second one was unbelievable. I've got to go back again. Look at the second stiff arm. The first one, that's straight power. This one, he completely decleats the defender. That is unbelievable. I've never seen a highlight like that before. I'm genuinely impressed. Like, I am genuinely cannot control myself right now. That's unbelievable. What a great, powerful catch and touchdown right there. Nice catch on the contested ball. 
Another quarterback highlight. Oh, he's off to the races. There's his speed. He opens up his stride and he uses his big frame to pull away from defenders. Good job. Another stiff arm. And he's off. And he scores another touchdown. He's got the speed, especially at six foot four, 220 pounds. He's got the speed for a bigger guy. Another stiff arm. Another stiff. The stiff arm is his friend. He is a powerful gladiator out there when he has the football. Oh, it looks like Chalen right now is the only guy back in coverage. High points the football, makes the interception. Let's see what he can do with the ball after this interception here. They did a great job walking for him. Makes one stiff arm, makes two guys miss, and ran over the quarterback. That was John Elway-esque right there. He jumped for that touchdown and got spun midair, but he still scored. Great play. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a receiver ever run a route like that on their route tree. He went up to the corner, spun around to the outside, gets open and scores a touchdown. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh wow. That corner looks like he might be five foot eight out there, and he's trying to cover Jalen, who's six foot four. That's a really tough ask right there. It was a good play by him, but you know, it's an impossible situation for the corner to succeed if the quarterback does his job. Wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, a little wide receiver wheel route right there. Makes the first guy miss and stiff arms that second guy. Then he just opens up his stride and really breaks away from the rest of the defenders. Those type of plays translate because he's a physical runner with the ball and he also has the speed in order to separate himself from the defenders. Oh my gosh, he makes a great one-handed catch on a ball that's behind him in traffic. Good job, Jalen. Ooh, nice interception. Oh. My goodness, how many more times are we going to see him embarrass people trying to tackle him with a huge, powerful stiff arm? Unbelievable. Good pursuit. Wraps the guy up and hip tosses him. A great tackle right there. Just beats out the smaller defensive back for the football, and he scores the touchdown. At six foot four, he's really going to be a matchup nightmare for defenses because not only does he have the size, but he also has the speed and the athleticism to get open. So he's going to be an issue for the linebackers to cover because just because he's too athletic and he's too quick, but he's also too big for corners and safeties to cover. Nice catch and avoids that tackle. He scores a touchdown. That's a very applicable play right there. You're going to see that plenty of times at Oklahoma where they run that little tiny slant route right there and he's in single man coverage with no help from the safeties over the top and he's able to avoid that tackler, open up his stride and score the touchdown. We saw throughout the film that he was extremely athletic, was jumping defenders left and right and had an unbelievable stiff arm. And I don't know if Jalen has a nickname in high school, but if he doesn't, it needs to be the human highlight reel. The power that Jalen runs the football with makes him look almost like a modern day gladiator. And when you mix that up with the fluidity that he has when he moves on the field, it really is special and interesting. You do not see athletes that usually possess those traits let alone the ability to make unbelievable spectacular catches. I am extremely excited for Jalen's career at Oklahoma, and he is going to excel at the tight end position in college and maybe even at the next level. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. It really does mean the world to me that you took the time out of your day to watch and learn a little bit about Jalen Conyers. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. Just let me know that you are enjoying the content. Thanks so much, guys.